Good evening. It is Wednesday, December 23rd. It's two days until Christmas. Just two. Wow. Nearly there. And I was better today than yesterday. I was able to convince myself just to make some food, so I, I made some whatever, um... Rotini Alfredo, I think it is. Um, so I'll have this. Otherwise, just sort of an evening at home, yet again, as this week has been. And Steven Vlog released their November 2020 mail video, which is exciting for me to watch because I sent the mail. I haven't I haven't done that since this since my vlog channel was really new. It was the last time I sent them anything. Um, but I did again, so, uh, always exciting to see them get that, open their presents, as it were. <laughs> Our last package is from Adam in St. Charles, Missouri. There's a little, there's a little package there for Mel. And there's a little I, package for me. I love me. the look of brown paper. I do too. There's something very classic mm -hmm. about it. Oh, that's super cute. It's, it's actually really, uh, it's really cool because, um, uh, at some other point, I was sent a uh, another D and D parody Zelda. with Zelda, mm -hmm. and this has the leather. We should have opened that. Probably nope. should have opened that first. I, nope, not needed. It's fine. It says, He's on the bottom. Uh, Merry Christmas, Stephen Mallory. The background of that map was done with some uh, Malmakes inspiration. I sponged some pink, purple, and black down on the canvas and used a toothbrush to splatter on random you stars. You did a great job. I want to point out that Adam painted all these Shattered World pieces, yeah. and in the book, they all have actual locations. So, oh, like, see. one is the Mirage, and it has, like, Suaro cactus on it. So, like, this one is the Mirage. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, you did. You did a good job. Mm -hmm. That's that's so neat, and it's gotta it's gotta feel great too, to like create a physical product. Yes. And this is this is really neat. So if someone's looking for some fifth edition stuff, this is uh, this is well done, and I love the theme. Yeah. I think the theme's really cool. Adam, thank you. And uh, that is it for the month of November. Thank you all for sending stuff in. Well. Um, Stay tuned. That is so much fun to send stuff in. I mean, Stephen Mowry George's YouTube content is, you know, makes up more than half of the entertainment that I <laughs> end up watching. So, and just getting to be a little part of it. And I sent him a. Uh, copy of my book so fun to hear their brief first impressions of it he's like you know he said you know it must feel good to to have some to make something like that i'm like oh yeah it did <laughs> that's fun i times like that with that that's a time when i'm like yes uh, you know, giving gifts is not my typical main love language. Um, generally, um, you know, quality time and to some extent physical touch. Um, but obviously with someone with that kind of relationship where it's just through someone on YouTube, neither of those are things that really work. So, as a fallback, it is a way that I can show them I care. So that was fun. And I'll link below to their mail video. Um, so if you want to check out the whole reaction and see all that I sent them. Um, but that's not all that I'm doing today. I, I did have something else I wanted to... I wanted to try this evening. Uh, I made myself tea in the middle of the day, or, you know, got it steeping, and when I was pulling it out, I remembered I had something that I've forgotten about for at least a year. 
I found this uh, pack of um, hot cocoa. I think Bob put this in my um, beverages box a year, maybe two ago. So I'm sure it's well past its best buy date. Uh, uh, I'm going to say two years ago because it's 7 2019. It's like a powder, it's fine. And it says to use hot water, but it's hot cocoa, so I'm gonna use milk. Um, one, because I think that's usually better with um, cocoa. And two, because I have an unopened container of milk. And I don't know if I'm going to use it at all before it expires if I don't use it for this. So I'm going to use it for this. And it is uh, really weird to heat up milk. I'm not used to doing that. I mean, I guess it's thing something that people do, but not me. I can just smell the mint. This is a mint hot cocoa. I would have preferred if it wasn't mint. Mm. Still, very good. I don't, um, I don't drink hot cocoa very often. As evidenced by the fact that I, uh, had a thing of hot cocoa in there that had expired in... A year and a half ago? <laughs> But it's good. And I figure it is the season, right? She makes me feel like I should probably get some of that and have it. Because ultimately, I mean, my brain is like, Christmas, that's the winter holiday. Almost Christmas, winter's about to be done. Winter's just getting started. <laughs> um, so I should probably get some, have it around. It's nice. But uh, I'm enjoying, uh, I'm going to enjoy my hot cocoa and having a bit of a relaxing evening. Not really going to get much else done. But I only got one more day of work and then a few days off, Christmas and the weekend. Thank you for joining me. Joining me as my journey continues.